Hello, welcome to Introduction to the Visual Arts. For this assignment, we're going to look at Lichtenstein's comic strip paintings. Um, the, this is the, in the style of pop art, and if you've watched the video on Lichtenstein, you probably already know this, so this is probably just a little bit of review for you. He usually, uh, he usually painted two kinds of subjects, scenes that were violent action or sentimental romance. You are looking at a painting that he painted in 1963 called Drowning Girl. It is quite large. It is almost five feet tall. It's located in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City right now. He really was interested in being the worst artist in America, or at least that's what he said. What the pop, he was a pop artist, and what pop artists did is they elevated just the regular culture, just pop culture, to fine art. So they were just saying, um, these images are all over, and so um, I'm just going to make them big. And so they took kind of trite subject matter and did something different with them. In this painting, I really like the look of it because for a couple of reasons. I like that when you look at it really closely, it's heavily outlined in black. And so it has very much of a comic strip look, even though it's a painting. And also, if you look very carefully, you can see this texture, the texture of the dots. Texture is one of the elements of art, and so you can really see the texture here against the black and uh, the black outline. <clears throat> Another reason why I like this painting is when I was 12 years old, I learned to draw faces of women from looking at uh, comic books, and that's how I actually learned to draw women's faces. So whenever I see the work of uh, Roy Lichtenstein, it reminds me of when I was a young person. For this project, you're going to need a backing sheet. You're going to need a piece of 9 by 12 paper that can come out of your multimedia pack. I would divide it into four uh, registers because if you look at the work of Lichtenstein, it's very much like the comics. So it's kind of like a comic strip. We don't have the format where we can make it all in one strip like this, so what we're going to do is just use these four registers to tell a story. We're going to go from, from left to right, from left to right, and that's the way we will tell the story. You can go to the library and look at the Tribune comics if you want to, or any, any uh, comic strip of, um, uh, that comes out probably on Sunday if you want some ideas about what to do. We're going to use a unique concept, a concept with our, um, with our uh, comic strip Lichtenstein uh, referential drawing. We're going to try to create the passage of time. Now, you'll need to use, for your passage of time, you'll need to use your uh, colored paper pack and pick out some colors. And I'm going to show you some samples of how previous students used the passage of time. This one is very clever. Um, you have the solid uh, faces of the frog and you can see how the frog is getting uh, the fly or whatever is in the air and the fly, the, this little, these little black spots, which are the insects, of course, um, they're small, and he's got three of them together, and so they look, they, they create a kind of texture against everything else that's kind of smooth. Here is another passage of time, and of course, whenever you do passage of time, it's a narrative. It tells a story. So again, remember to fill up the space with your passage of time. Here you've got the frog. He's thinking about the insects. He's sticking his tongue out here. There they got on, he, you know, he captures them. And there he swallowed them. And so you can see how happy he is. So you have a kind of narrative. Here's a very different kind of narrative. Uh, here is a, uh, uh, the hands and, and this one. Uh, is a little bit different because we don't have the four um, registers, we don't have the four boxes, but here we have the nail polish, the person with the hand, and then painting the fingers, 
and then over here the implication that um, the um, nail polish was taken off with the removal. Sometimes it's really good to put your action outside of the story because a lot went on in this uh, passage of time uh, from the beginning of putting the nail polish on her fingers until taking them off. So, but we don't know how much time passed. Sometimes with passage of time, you can have a large time, but many times the passage of time um, oh, artwork that is most successful are the ones when only small amounts of time pass. Here's one where the athlete is wrapping his foot, putting on his sock, and then putting on his shoe. And so, very simple idea, but again, demonstrates the passage of time, demonstrates the movement, and a uh, Liechtenstein kind of uh, a popular subject. Nothing that is really, really uh, very um, cerebral, serious subject. Pop art was always about pop culture and things that we do every day elevated to high art. This one I like very much. I like this one so much because um, I think of myself as a amateur carpenter. So I like this very much because who hasn't done this? Where you have the nail and you hit it with the hammer and then you hit your finger and you have blood. But I think it goes this way. Where here he's got the nail, he's holding the nail, here the hammer is coming down, bam, and here, ouch. And so you definitely get the idea. And again, not a lot of time has passed. The next idea here is the spider web. Up here you have the spider, and of course spiders like to, uh, they like to make webs, and they like to do it. Um, there's probably nothing they enjoy more than making a web. Here is a, his web that he's made, and here the web is complete, and here, unfortunately, someone came along with the fly swatter and killed the web. The uh, idea is very clear, but um, time has also passed. We don't know how much, but we do get that idea. And the ones that are most successful are small pieces of time. Now, if you look at all of this art, none of it is very, very, uh, you know, it's not really complicated. And, you know, art nowadays is not so much about craftsmanship. Most modern art is about concept. According to Chuck Close, who is probably one of the most famous living artists of today, he says that craftsmanship is pretty much dead. It's all about concept. Now there's still plenty of artists that are working with craftsmanship, but concept seems to be king. With all kinds of computers and computer apps and computer programs, uh, I think that this is part of the reason that concept has gotten to be so big. So if you remember to fill up your space, if you remember to have a clever idea, and if you remember to have four registers to tell your story, you're going to be quite successful. Now, the last student art I'm going to show you is Passage of Time, done where you have great uh, gaps of time. This idea of the tree, of the tree um, is really quite, this we'd almost say is passé. Do you know what passé means? Passé is a word that says overdone, been done many times, um, and you have to be careful about doing uh, kinds of things that are passé unless you have a new and clever way to do them. Uh, kind of stay away from passé subjects. Uh, passage of time and showing a tree and the seasons can be done very well, but <coughs> it's been done a lot. So keep that in mind when you do your passage of time. So this should be lots of fun. All you need is a backing sheet, a scissors, uh, some glue stick, and a great idea, 
and some construction paper from your packet and go ahead and try to create and uh, finish your Passage of Time artwork. When you're done, you can upload it. There's a link on Moodle where you can upload it. If you want feedback or if you want help, you can contact me on the discussion board or through email. And um, you can, uh, we can, I can tell you what to do and I can talk to you that way. And good luck with your, uh, with your project. Think a little bit in terms of trying to create a visual texture. Like for example, this creates texture. It's even though it is rough, it also looks rough, and so try to think of ways to create a kind of visual texture that uh, creates roughness. Remember that shape, the shape of the tree and the shape of the leaves, that is one of the elements of design and texture, this kind of simulated roughness, that's also another element of design. Plus, you have the concept passage of time, plus you are uh, making the reference to pop art uh, and um, Roy Lichtenstein. Thank you for your attention.